Oh, one of the biggest worries in this heat is children. And Krista has some startling numbers of kids who can actually die from being left in a hot car. Krista? You know, it's too bad so often we end up covering this because something's happened or because we're fearful of something happening. We put the uh, thermometer in this car and we max it out within about 20 or 30 minutes of putting it in at about 125 at the very least. We've actually got someone on the way to get a digital thermometer that should be back any moment. As soon as we get it, we'll put it in and give you a read, hopefully by the end of the 5 o'clock. Uh, what would you think? How hot do you think it gets? Kids and Cars tells us that on average, 38 kids a year die because they're accidentally left in a hot car or they climb into a car and someone doesn't know it. 38 a year. We've already seen 30 die in our nation this year. Statistics show there'll be another eight and we're hoping that that isn't uh, happening and we're hoping it for sure doesn't happen in the Kansas City area. So we've been monitoring this, the heat in different places. So I'll, I'll write this because you have to hold it. Okay. What's your guess on how hot it'll get in the car when we get that digital thermometer? I'm guessing about 145. 145? Mm-hmm. That's Jeff's guess. I'm going to say 165. 165. And then when you guys at home think about what you think, and we'll write the real number right here when we get that digital thermometer. And, and uh, almost as hot in the sun right now. Oh, I know. And what's interesting, I've noticed, if you look at the thermometer here, it's on the 120, but the one in the car is past the 120. So it's pretty much maxed out here, right at around 120. In the car, it's definitely going to be hotter. That's the greenhouse effect. The heat actually enters, the sunlight enters the car, and then it can't escape, so it keeps building on itself.